don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve MAP. Let's go over hanger placement within Evolve Mechanical. So to dive right in, we're gonna go into our settings here. And again, we're gonna be focusing on our hanger placement for this video. So within our hanger settings here, for our first tab, we have our hanger configuration. We have our applied to, we have our types. With my types, I have duck oval, duck rectangle, duck round, pipework, and then we have our services. You can see within services, it contains a list of all services loaded into the project. Then we have a list generated from the materials found in the prefabrication configuration, all listed within their materials. And then we have our size, and then within our placement, we have our spacing. So adjusting the spacing in between from end, from joint, and then from branch slash tap. And then my favorite, you can actually specify a different hanger type when placing hangers on parts with installation. So going on from there, we have our hanger options. So we have use half perimeter for rectangular duck, which actually just allows you to be able to align to smack mass specifications. And then we have collision adjustment, which will allow you to be able to not worry about clashes anymore. It will place your hanger in the best location to avoid any clashes. You also can specify your movement intervals, your tolerance, your maximum movement, and also ignore CID, which means you can specify family names or pattern numbers that you want to be ignored when running the collision adjustment. If there's a situation where the hanger can't be placed, then you can have highlight immovable hanger, which allows you to be able to specify a color that the hanger and elements it's clashing with will change to. Going on from there, we have our embed configuration tab and the rules that you define here will impact your rod adjustment feature. And then our embed options here allows you to be able to specify if you want the deck types to be pulled from linked models, primary model, or all of the above. And then these options will appear within your embed configuration tab. All right, let's play some hangers now. So let's go to our hanger placement feature and you can window select or select the elements that you want to have your hangers be placed. So now it's running the command and all of my elements now will have hangers. All right, let's get a better look on our placement here. So here is our placement on our pipe here. So everything looks nice. I'll definitely be going over rod adjustments and other features in different videos, but let us go back and let's go over what happens if we want to be able to get really specific on our placement. We're going to be using element filter to be able to specify and select a service. So once all of my service is selected, I can quickly be able to place my hangers this way. So there is a few options if you want to window select everything and place your hangers automatically, or if you want to be able to select certain elements and place them, or you could do something like this with your element filter and be able to select services and place your hangers there. Once you have all of your hangers placed exactly where you would like them to be, then you're able to use other features within Evolve Mechanical like our trapeze placement, rod adjustments, estimating low points, all that great stuff. But for now, that is our hanger placement. If you have any questions or want to see more within Evolve Mechanical, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.